Be original, don't be scared of being bold. I do like my hair. It took a while to come around to the fact that it was quite a unique value point. The whole, studly womanizer, thing, I mean, I quite enjoy the title, it's just not very accurate. I get tweets every single day going, like, I'm so glad you weren't on, The X Factor. I don't really do that whole, single life, thing. I'm kind of heads down and get things done. I've always had really messy hair. In my eyes, there's no one better than Stevie Wonder. He's a top dude. Harry Potter is awesome. Instead of writing songs for girls, I tend to write albums, which I guess is a bit weird. I think I've been around for a while, but I still have to pay my dues. I met Bill Clinton, he's a very nice guy. Yeah, Bill Clinton's cool. I want to have a career that evolves as I go on. The more you write tunes, the better they will become. The more you do gigs, the better you will become. Some of my tattoos are a bit silly, but I know where and what time I got them. I'm a huge hip-hop fan from way back in the day. Everyone still thinks I'm Scottish. That's totally wicked. I don't know if my songs fit in films. I've always been a massive fan of John Mayer. I think he's very talented. It was my love for the guitar that first got me into music and singing. I've never really been a confident person, except from a musical standpoint. I had to push myself early on, but it got easier with each gig. The public has heard the stereotypical love songs a million times, and they've heard the stereotypical life or death songs millions of times. It's good to mix it up a little bit. I think the music I've created is quite odd, and people are going to start talking about that. If Adele's seen as boring, then I'm happy to be boring as well. My love songs are very personal and quite weird. They don't really have the big radio hit choruses because basically they're my therapy. Stuff I have to get off my chest.